Hi guys! So today we're going to be doing the final two DIYs from Meg's Nursery Reveal, the I Love You Canvas and the Animal Silhouettes over Rider's Crib. I've got my little helper with me today, yay! And we thought they turned out so cute, we're going to actually make them for Lincoln's Playroom as well, but in different colors. I'm Brooke and I'm passionate about making beautiful things for my family on a budget. So here's what you're going to need to get started. Some blank canvases. I got this seven pack at Michael's for really inexpensive. Some scrapbook paper, some Mod Podge or decoupage glue, scissors, a paintbrush and paint sponge, and some acrylic craft paint. All right, so the first step is to trace the animal onto the scrapbook paper. And I've chosen this cute red pattern, uh, which is going to be for Lincoln's Playroom. And I'm going to trace it onto the back because it's just a little easier to see what you're doing that way. So I have an image here on my computer of an elephant silhouette, and I'm going to try to replicate it. Wish me luck. <laughs> if you really feel like you can't draw, you can print it out on a computer printer and then trace it onto tracing paper and lay that down over your piece of scrapbook paper. All right, so I finished the first animal. I think people will be able to tell that it's an elephant. It kind of looks like a camel with a trunk. So now we're ready to cut it out. All right, so it looks really cute cut out and now we're ready to attach it to the canvas. I'm gonna use Mod Podge. You can use any kind of decoupage glue and we're gonna just wanna put a nice layer on the back of the elephant and then lay it out flat. So once you have the back covered, you're going to want to lay it down and get the placement right. It dries pretty fast, so you want to try to do that kind of quickly. Get all the bubbles out, and then you can go back around the edges like I'm doing here. If it's starting to lift, put a little more glue under the edge of the paper and then smooth it down. Now we're going to let this sit for about an hour so that it's completely dry before we put our final coat on. All right, so the elephant is dry. There's no bubbles or ripples, which is what we wanted, so I'm really happy about that. And now we're going to paint our final layer of Mod Podge to seal everything together. Once you're finished, let it dry for about another hour, and then we'll be ready to hang this little guy on the wall. Look how cute this turned out. The thing I love about these is that you can customize them to any nursery. You can do any color, any pattern, and they just really pop on the wall. And for those of you who still aren't comfortable with the drawing, a great alternative is to use one of these hole punches. They make circles, hearts, stars, and punch out scrapbook paper in any pattern and just arrange them on the canvas and then seal them with the Mod Podge. It looks super cute and it's really, really easy. So now we're gonna do this I Love You canvas. I originally saw this on the website allmodern.com, but it was anywhere from 60 to $200 depending on what size you got and I thought I bet I can make this. So the only additional supply you're going to need is a stencil and this is one of my DDIYs. Don't do it yourself. Um, I ordered mine on Etsy. It was $5. I ordered three of them. So the first step is to peel off the backing of the stencil and attach it to the canvas. Your stencil will probably have a layer of film on the top and you're going to want to peel that back as well. Now we're ready to paint. You do want to make sure that all the letters and the edges of the letters are completely attached to the canvas so that your paint doesn't bleed. I did Meg's with a really pretty cobalt blue, but today I've chosen a basic black just because I like the simple black and white. So you're just going to want to take your paint sponge. I like these little round ones. I got them at Michael's and just gently dab it over the letter. Make sure it's completely covered, but you don't want it to be too heavy because it can bleed or it can peel off. All right, we're all dry and now we're ready for my favorite part, which is peeling off the tape. I guess this counts as tape. Don't worry if it looks a little odd when you're peeling back the stencil. The insides of the O's and the E's will still be attached to the canvas and you'll have to remove them individually. All right, and we're done. I think this looks so cool and modern. That wraps up all the DIYs from Meg's Nursery Reveal. Tell me in the comments below which one was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next Friday. Bye.